Good morning, my gaming friends and family members of the PGP. What time is it? Oh, it's like early, right? It's like, oh man. Oh, must be super early right now. I'm guessing. But for real, let me know how you guys are doing. Uh, happy home day for some of us. Some of us, Wednesday does signify middle of the work week. Um, I'll be lurking on the work computer. Okay, all right, COX. I appreciate that. Just don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Good morning, Keldon. Uh, Hogswatch is here. Just got out of school. Teresa is up, but not quite out of bed yet. That's okay, Teresa. I love the cat. That is, uh, again, Odie, that is Elvira up there. Or she's this way. Yeah. Somewhere up there is Elvira. <laughs> the bard is here. Oh, man. All right. So let's get some things going. And I actually wanted to personally thank the bard. Uh, he just sent me a game on Steam. Space Engineers, a game that I've always wanted to try. I know you guys probably can't see this. May not be able to see it. But the Bard, thank you. Thank you. He just gifted me a game on Steam. I've never had anyone gift me a game on Steam ever. Uh, I knew that that existed, but I didn't realize that it was something you could really do. So let me know. Let me know in the chat if you've played Space Engineers before. I'm excited to try it. Thank you, the Bard. That is very, very kind of you. That's awesome. So we'll try that out sometime. Maybe we'll stream it or maybe I'll make a couple of videos on it. That's going to be a good time. So let's... You play it, Odie? Man, you guys are so kind. I've got the bestest of friends. You've been at work since... Oh, oh sorry, the bard. Woo! That's tough. That's tough. Mama PG is here. Mama PG, what do you think about uh, Elvira up there? You got to be careful. You don't want to poke her if she gets mad. I want to stay on Elvira's good side. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm in uh, Tenaris. Okay, so the goal for today, this is most likely going to be... A short stream I'll just be upfront and honest I'm working on some videos for this channel so that's the reasoning why it could be kind of a short stream all right let's see all right so I need to head over to the uh, other continent so let's head to Orgrimmar take the Zeppelin so I might we might have to pug it I might have to get some, pull some people. I don't know if enough people are going to be on in the guild. It's just me and Odie at the moment. But it's it's early, right? You know, it's early for gaming. Poke Elvira. Careful, Odie. Don't want to make her mad. Freddy, good morning. How did everything go with you, Freddy? If you think Miss PG will enjoy it, let me know and I'll buy her a copy as well. She should be able to run it with the newish PC. Yes. The Bard, we are in the process of getting the additional parts that she needs. But man, that I-9 is going to rock whatever she throws at it, right? Man, I'm still, I'm still so thankful for your kindness. You have a few hours. Oh, got you, Freddy. All right, I got you. Well, I appreciate you taking your time before to, to hang out with all of us. But I got a good feeling everything will be okay. Everything will go well for you, Freddy. Early, you were on at 6.30 a.m. Oh my gosh, Kim. I remember when I was young and could, could get up early to play video games, but before school or before work. You know, I remember those days. So it looks like Odie. Odie, would you like to run 
Scarlet Monastery, potentially. Uh-huh. Cypher said that he would potentially try to tank if he was up. I think he might still be snoozing. It's okay. Okay, so we do have one. Good morning, Chiron. Yes, it is. It is quite early. Right, we're going to try to get a Scarlet Monastery group together, Chiron. How's that priest coming along? Hopefully you are having fun with it, Kyron. Um, because if 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 we can get you caught up, we can do some some group content together. You know. I remember pulling three days solid playing games. <laughs> Nowadays, I can barely manage it past sunset. Oh, I feel you, the bard. As I said, to be young again. Kim says I am older than you. <laughs> oh man. Like you guys told me, maybe when I'm 50, I'll look back and say, gosh darn it, I wish I was 30. But right now, 30 feels old. I don't feel like the youngster I once was. I think everyone is still uh, sleeping around the world everywhere else as well. Orgrimmar is fairly empty. We'll see, though. We'll see. I think we can get a group together. Uh, just about level 10. I have a little time in between work and me passing out from exhaustion. I understand that completely, Kyron. I'm just anxious to group with you. That's all. Have you been able to group with anyone yet, Chiron? I'm guessing no. I'm guessing no so far, as far as within the guild. Oh, there's Odie behind me. So I'm thinking we go ahead and make the trip to... Wait, you were young? A long, long time ago, Hogswatch. Long, long time ago. What can I help you with? Let's see. 874. That's not bad. You grab a couple of those. I'll have, have some uh, hog shank. I never have food on me. So that's a good idea. I'm working on it and not yet. Alright, Kyron. Alright. I mean, obviously, once we've all had time to get to level 60 and reach the level cap, we can definitely all play together. That's the, the one downside to WoW is getting to um, similar levels so we can all group together. <laughs> no, don't eat my brethren. <laughs> the hog shank. There's a ah oh, twenty warlock. Okay, not quite high enough. Gonna be ninety six here today. Happy autumn. Yes, Keldon. Um, it does not feel like wow. Like I hope as Halloween approaches because I love Halloween. You guys knew from last night the City Hero stream, obviously. Uh, El, oh, oh, don't want to hit her tail. Elvira up here. I love Halloween. I love fall. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like ninety five today. Where I live, Keldon. 95. Definitely not, not fallish. Not autumn. Not even close. Bought food aplenty, bananas, jerky, and kibble. Okay, as long as you keep, Odie, as long as you keep Cuddles happy. Because I don't want Cuddles turning on us. That would not be a good day to have to fight your pet bear. All right, we're gonna head to Undercity. <laughs> so we're probably going to need a tank and a healer. Hopefully, hopefully I can find some a tank and a healer. I think so. I think we can. It just may not be within the guild.
Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. Oh yeah, I agree 100% the Bard. It, it's, it's weird that growing up, I feel like you're always told that you leave high school and you have to know what you're gonna do or at the very, you, you need to go to college and then by the time you get out of college, you definitely have to know what you're gonna do. No. That, I, I can give you some life advice, that is most definitely not the case. You may go your entire life and not know exactly what you want to do, all right? You know? It, it, but as long as you enjoy life, does anything else really matter, right? You know? But try to find, the biggest thing I can, can, can recommend to you is try to find something that you're passionate about, something that you love, because the saying is true. It will not feel like work. You won't work a day in your life if you do something that you love. Okay. So let's see if a verse you would like to join. I believe he, I, I think he did want to go. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their life. Some of the most interesting 40 year olds I know still don't. That is true, the Bard. That is very true. Okay. So let me go ahead and start advertising. We'll start with the graveyard and then work our way potentially to library. Maybe, maybe. Hopefully we can we can get a group for it. Uh, otherwise, we may end up just questing. But I, man, I'd love to I'd love to get a couple of SM runs in. Okay, let me go ahead and invite Versi. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, Odie. I know what you mean. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, you know. But it's... I would say it's never too late, but I guess it just... It does depend on what specifically you're wanting to do. But It's never too late to chase it, at the very least, right? You know, to go after it. Ooh, almost jumped too far. Almost jumped too far. That would have been bad. You got the acting part still. There you go. And you never know. Any anything could happen with that, Odie. That's what's crazy. You you could do acting for twenty years and never really make much money and then get that one call. That one call that changes your life and your career. It's crazy. You just never know. You ended up a truck driver and no regrets, hey. As I said, as long as you enjoy it, go for it. All right, I'm gonna keep advertising. Okay, let me see, let me make sure Let me make sure that it is all DPS that we have. That'd give me four years before I turn 90. I'm just saying, Odie. I'm just saying. Let me keep advertising. It won't take us long to get there. If anything, we could also just go hang out around SM and maybe we'll stumble across somebody just chilling there. 
I need, you know what? I'm, I'm at some point I'm thinking about making a, a healer. <gasps> Cypher, yes, score, you the man. Can I, can I get you the man? Decipher in the chat. Come on. He is pulling through for us and is going to tank. So we just need a healer. We just need a healer. Uh, Hogswatch. I'm I'm not a, a a counselor. I'm I'm not a person that gives advice on what to do with your life, so to say. But I'm gonna give you a piece of advice, and I think a lot of people here might agree with it. Hogs watch. Uh, there are a lot of people who are, who do have a couple of years on you. Don't let anyone else tell you what to do, or you'll end up potentially not very happy with your life. Hundred percent. Don't let anybody else tell you what to do with your life. If you really think about that when you say it out loud, it sounds pretty dumb, doesn't it? If you say, well, someone else told me that I should do this with my life. They're not you. They don't have to live your life every day. That's, that's all I'm saying. You're the one that has to, to wake up and go through whatever you have to do every day. So don't let anyone else decide for you what that's going to be. Cypher is logging in. There's the man. He's awake. I'm th tossing him an invite right now. Alright, so we just need a healer. Now, I don't think we could tackle library yet. Odie's 25. Odie's a little low, but maybe. Maybe. Okay. All we need is a healer. Does anybody anybody have a healer? I can call up. Does anybody have a a friend? Okay. Sweet. So everyone on is going to be running. That's awesome. But again, this morning will probably be a short stream just because I'm working on some of these video ideas for you guys on the channel. That's the reason I'm trying to keep this one short. And don't forget, tonight is the Altaholics Anonymous meeting. So I need some of you to break the ice and call in tonight. A lot of times people are a little bit nervous to call in at first until that one person calls in. Careful that guy, Odie. Man, I hope we can find a healer. Holy Midget is 29. Time to go get you. <laughs> you getting there. You same, you same level, Seminole. Don't worry, Odie. Don't worry. What? No, I totally sapped her. Come on. Come on. Who was that? Oh boy. Oh no, Odie. Oh no. 
This is this is not going as planned. Oh no, Odie. I don't think I can save you from that guy. All right, all right. That's not a... Uh... <laughs> if you want the Space Engineer server admin info, let me know. Okay. I definitely will, the Bard. I definitely will. Let's ask this guy. Let's ask this guy if, if he'll come heal. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, he doesn't want help. Hmm, okay. Okay, I've done. I've tried to help. No, Odie. I feel bad bringing Odie out here. And he's going to get shot to death. I'm not going to lie, guys. I forgot about the, the people outside the dungeon. Totally forgot. Odie, we might just run for it. Here's what I recommend. I say run for it and just run in SM Graveyard and then... And then you will be safe, right? It sounds crazy, right? We'll be safe in the dungeon. Oh, here come the, the, the convoy of dump trucks. About that time of the morning. Because I can totally stealth there. Let's head in. Odie, I say just chug it. I say just go. Go. Yep, never follow a rogue through his own. You're either crazy or suicidal. Yep, my path will be totally different because I can stealth through. After playing a rogue, it's it's difficult to play anything else because you get used to that play style. You know? You get used to being able to just stealth right to the end and get whatever you need and leave. Totally different. Yeah, see, it's early. Odie, run for it. If you come in here, Odie, run. Otherwise, there's a good chance you might die. Run, Odie! Run! See at night, this place is popping. This, this, this is this is one of the <laughs> my die. This is like the 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 club hangout in here. All right, this this is uh, a big hangout place, especially for Alliance. Getting oh man, Cipher, yep. <laughs> the flashbacks of the stocks run. Hopefully we can find a healer. I'm going to be at the AA meeting tonight on All Right Awesome Hogs Watch. I'm looking forward to it. The LRBC on the classic servers, I'll remake my Blood Elf Rogue. Ah, oh, yeah, that'd be awesome, the Bard. I'm, I'm still kind of hoping that they do that. Go, Odie, go! <laughs> Hmm. 
It's what a lot of other people are doing. They're kind of just hanging out. Hope oh, the guy said, where'd he go? I was gonna kill him. All right. Come on, we need a healer to just magically appear. That's what I need to make as a healer. Okay. Heals, heals, heals. We need a healer. The problem with classic, and it's it's not a problem. I'm happy that it's this way. But, you know, let's say I decide, okay, well, I'm going to make a healer. So, is he attacking? Oh. <laughs> Odie wanted to poke out. Check the situation. Odie is still very dangerous out here. Uh, if I roll a healer, by the time I catch up to this level, it's going to be a couple, like three weeks. Maybe. Make it rain healers dance. Okay. I'm going to try it. I'm saying stealth, though. Hold on, I think I have the game brightness turned way up. So, bump it down just a tad. 40 warrior. I'm gonna keep advertising. Uh, any kind of healer, Odie. <laughs> any kind. All right, I'm doing the dance. I'm doing the dance, the bard. The 40 priest, huh, huh? And that's the only thing, just to be honest and upfront with you guys, that had always worried me about morning streams is potentially not as many people playing. And I, I don't even mean it as in just within this guild or within the positive gamer community. I mean in general. I think that the stereotype is correct. Uh, it's just because it's morning time, Seminole. Uh, if you come here at night, I'll even show you something. I got a screenshot. Uh, it's nothing like this. It is slam packed full if you come here at night. Uh, it's just because not as many people play. Uh, where was my screenshot? I have a screenshot. Odie, you're awful brave. I'm trying to find it. Let's see. I'm still, I'm actively looking for a healer. Darn it. Well, I can't find it at the moment, but no, it's, uh, it is typically a war zone seminal. Uh, it's your shoulder to shoulder in here typically. But I think the stare, what do you guys think? This is an honest question to you guys. What do you think about the stereotype that um, I say stereotype. It makes it sound like it's a bad thing. Basically, that uh, there are a lot more gamers online at night. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, duh, because people work during the day. But I'm talking like the, the late hours, like 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. I feel like it is true. I mean, if you log on, it's, it's pretty apparent when you check on the guild that there are way more people on. Look, I told you in here is shoulder to shoulder at like 10 p.m. But most people are at work right now. It's 11 o'clock in the morning, Eastern time. Well, I mean, there's bodies everywhere because it's a PvP server. Yeah, you're not going to see as many dead bodies. Definitely, with it not being PvP. 
But yeah, this place was jam packed a couple of days ago, but that it was 11 p.m. at night when we came through. Maybe we need a healer to come save the day. You have to run gauntlet when you're alliance. I bet. It's a lot quicker for uh, members of the horde to get here. I mean, literally, Undercity is right here. So, I mean, bam, you just hop out and it's a hop, skip, and a jump away. No biggie. I don't know. This We may have to do this stream at night one day this week. We may not be able to get a run together. Everyone in the guild is is doing it, uh, but we just don't have a healer. We'll give it a little bit longer. Let me let me see. Let me see if I can work some magic in the looking for group chat. I just don't know if there are enough people on. And I do love druids in their cat form. Look how cool that little guy is. But I'm going to advertise. I'm going to keep advertising. See if anybody shows up. Isn't there like a... Uh, yeah. Thirty priest. Hmm. Cypher is going to take a seat. Yeah, I really actually think I might start an alt at some point this week and 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 start a healer. Because I feel like we can pull DPS. If I was advertising looking for DPS for Scarlet Monastery Graveyard, I bet I would get hits. I bet I would. But looking for a healer just I I don't think it may it really may not happen. Did you say healer? I sure did, Richard. We've been looking for a healer for the last 30 minutes. 30 minutes, Richard, and we'll be ready to rock. We got tank and DPS. We're trying to run Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. Shaman healer, yeah, our shaman is DPS spec currently. Ah, oh, no problem, Richard, no problem. No problem at all. I was just telling people, Richard, that it's it's difficult a lot of times to get groups together for dungeons in the AM. <laughs> He's logging in. Richard, is Richard going to save the day? Is Richard about to save the day? Hero for hire. Early AM stream. You got it, man. I still enjoy these because uh, I get to see a, a lot of faces that 
I haven't got to see you lately. You know? There are a lot of people that can show up in the AM and at least drop in and say hello. And I'm not going to lie, that's why I keep up the morning streams. The morning streams, just being honest with you, typically have less viewers. Uh, there's less people playing the game in general. But I love seeing people and faces that I haven't seen in a while. People that work second and third shift that can't come to the night streams. Yep, exactly. Exactly. And I hope you feel better, Hero for Hire. Homesick. Hopefully you can kind of just have a chill day, you know, on the couch or, or laying in bed. That's what you need is rest. If you're not feeling good, rest will help a ton. Good morning, Justin. How are ya? It's, it was definitely early. Right, Justin? Definitely early. Most likely this will be Scarlet Monastery Graveyard and then that'll be it. That'll probably be the stream, it's just the Scarlet Monastery. We're all down with colds here as well. Uh-oh. Is it about to be cold season? Hopefully not where I live because it, it still feels like summer here. I know a lot of times once it starts to cool off, a lot of people start getting colds. Uh, it's it's I, Me and Keldon were talking about it. It's, it's 95 degrees here today for me. 95 degrees. But we do, we do have a healer on the way. Justin IRL is going to save the day. So we'll do a quick Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. I know that I said library as well. But I don't know that we'll be able to. Uh-oh. Cypher's trying to sleep. I think he's going to get... <laughs> Rudely awoken. Can you imagine taking a nap and then just somebody with a big stick just goes wham right on top of your head? Talk about a rude awakening. I'd be pretty upset. This guy is just Look at it. Look at this guy. He's going to town with his healing. Jeez. Uh, Richard IRL is on his way. That's how I wake up every day. <laughs> I hope not. Being woken up with a stick is what it's like having a toddler. That makes sense. That makes sense, Justin. <laughs> Your wife beats you. Oh. Uh... Okay, I'm laughing. I hope that's not actually true. Like in, you know, like... This is your cry for help. Oh. My wife and I goof off and we, we, we wrestle around and stuff all the time. So I'm assuming it's meant in that way. Must be because of my snoring. All right. It is my good friend, Zerus. Yes, Richard IRL. He's here to save the day, guys. 
I've got you muted at the moment, PG. I don't care what you say. I'm here for the people. <laughs> Okay, so now I can now that Kyron has me muted, I, I can I can tell you guys all the funny stories about him since I know him in real life. Right? I'm just kidding though by the way. I don't I don't actually and we will We will get things going. Maybe I shouldn't plan dungeon runs at 10 and 11 o'clock in the morning. I think that this this will be a learning experience for me. That's going to be a beautiful sight, though. Seeing everyone on in the guild in Scarlet Monastery. That's awesome. Yes, it is uh, extremely hot outside. Listen, listen. My, my window is two arm lengths away. So if I stretch out my arm here and then do it one more time, it is right there. I can feel the heat creeping in. And there's 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 blinds there and then there's uh what do you call that? Curtains? Yeah, curtains. And uh, I can feel the heat coming through. It's about five feet away. And I can I I literally I can feel it. It's kind of messed up, and Kyron can confirm this. No joke. And we're just we're just small talking because I'm waiting on uh, Zeris to get here, our healer. It kind of stinks because I love warm weather. I love warm weather, but I think most people can agree that fall is usually just the best. Like you kind of bundle up in like a sweater, or not a sweater, a long sleeve, and it just feels perfect. You know, around here in East Tennessee, the leaves are changing colors. You walk outside, there's a nice little breeze. We've not had that in a couple of years. It stays hot. It's crazy. Burn bands. Yeah. It stays hot. We It used to snow several times a year. In the wintertime now in East Tennessee, no. Nah. No. I mean, we'll get one snow, and it'll snow like an inch or two, and then it melts in a couple hours. It's crazy. It's like we've we've become some type of desert or tropical climate. I say tropical. It never rains anymore, either. I don't know. Back to work. All right, the bar. Well, I'm glad you joined us this morning. For a little bit of silly talk before we get before we get this dungeon run going. Sorry it didn't get into any action, the bard. And only take off so many before it becomes illegal. Oh, because Justin said you can always put more clothes on. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh boy. If, if, if all else fails, run into the instance. Run into the instance if all else fails. I think we should go ahead and run in. <laughs> it's not looking good out here. I don't know about this. Yes. I think we should run in. Instead of dying. Instead of dying. Yep, run in. Run in. That's, that's just what's gotta happen. Listen, live to fight another day. Aversi, just run. Just run if it comes down to it.
As a rogue, I can give you some very good advice on that. Duck and run. Know when to get out. So how are you liking Classic WoW overall so far? Monk's Den says he loves it. Monk's Den? I flippin' love it. I love it, man. I I love that I'm having to work and, and fight and, scr and scrape for every little bit I can get. Oh, look at him. This dwarf hunter laughing at us. I'm I'm in love, man. It's it's been everything that I wanted it to be so far. It has. See, I'm. Oh no. Okay. Be prepared to run in again. Be prepared to run in. Yep. Um, for me, I like grinding in MMOs. I like working towards something. I hate it when you can hop in an MMO nowadays and it's all just here you go. Do do you want it? You, you can have it if if you want it. You don't you don't you don't have to work for it. If here it is. If you want it. I oh, I hate that. Honestly, I'm even I'm even to the point with City of Heroes where there I do wish that there was a little more that I had to work for, right? Trust me, I am in no way tired of it. I'm in no way complaining about it, about the game. I'm just saying I do wish there were a few more things that I had to work for. I actually am probably the minority here in City of Heroes. I wish that all the costume pieces were not unlocked already. I still kind of wish I had to unlock capes. I wish for the Halloween event that unlocking the bat aura actually meant something. I wish I had to work for those things. Because for me that's the the adventure. That's that's the fun is the fact that not everyone has it. Only the people who work for it to get it have it. Right? And like I said, I'm in no way complaining. Prestige should not have been free. Exactly. Exactly, Seminole. I agree. I definitely prefer it that way, but at this point, to do that would probably require a server reset. You're right, Cypher. I mean, it's it's too late. It's too late for that. And again, if, if you told me... What the... <laughs> she's, e she's extra gnomey. Right? That's not a normal size gnome. No, no, no. She's mini. She's fun size. All right, he's on his way, guys. He's on his way. This is going to happen. Yep, he's right outside. My morning has been great, Hogswatch. It's been awesome. But yeah, that that's kind of my only, if I had to nitpick at something. If you told me PG, City of Heroes is back, but you have all of these things unlocked, I'm taking it. I've had an absolute blast. Oh, no. Run for the instance, there. Left, 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 left. In, 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 in. Let's do this. Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. I have ran this once. But... I love Scarlet Monastery. I love everything about it. I love the the feel of the, the dungeon. I love the, everything about it. Everything about it. Okay, so let's get some poisons up. Let's see if we can top the DPS charts this run. But yes, I would, Seminole Gamer. Uh, I wish that you had to earn that stuff. You know, paying the upkeep for your supergroup uh, base was a big deal. Everyone being in supergroup mode, like, man. Hey, Mahande, good morning. Yeah, we did Halloween stuff during the stream last night. And trust me, I'm itching to get back at it, Mahande, but I try to not burn myself out, you know? I mean, just last night, man, we downed Eokai, Jack, and Irons. 
We ran Dr. Kane's mansion, and I got about 17 or 18 badges. So, we went to town on it last night. We will definitely be back at it uh, tomorrow night. We'll be back at it tomorrow night, Mahande. Wasted combo points, such a shame. Tank on Wow is at level 20. Okay, you're, you're catching up. Right now, I am 29. Right? Yeah, I'm 20. <laughs> I had to think about it. What a beautiful sight. SM, 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 SM. Full guild run. Makes me feel good. smoke more when I'm waking up. Is that like your your cup of coffee, Teresa? Morning has been good so far. I've been talking to a pretty lady for a bit for the past couple of weeks. Talking to her a little bit this morning. Oh, okay, Kyron. Okay. Ooh, my favorite, one of my favorite guys. The interrogator. Probably should have worked on this guy first, yep. I'm definitely not beating out of Mercy. Ain't happening. It's PG's favorite line. Rip the secrets from your flesh. Headed to earn your pay at the moment. Man, so you're doing... You said, uh... Not landscaping. Uh, what is it, Chiron? Not, not landscaping. What's... I... I I know what you do, but I'm I'm going totally blank. Is it land? No, it's not landscaping. Is it? Was it landscaping? I almost said manscaping. Don't ask me why that came to mind. I highly doubt that's your full-time profession. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I'm a manscaper. Look at that. A Versi almost pulling... Triple digits. Tanking vanilla as a warrior sucks. People don't realize it takes a little bit to gain threat because I don't start with rage like a paladin starts with mana and have hardly any AOE threat. I could see that. Now, isn't... Warrior is still considered like the tank for classic, right? Is that just because of some powers that warriors get later in the game that makes them the tank or is it because of something with stat wise with them or it what what what's the the huge what's the big deal with warriors and i ask that because i don't tank 
I never tank in video games. I, I just started playing a tanker in City of, of Heroes a little bit, and it's been fun, but it's not something that I generally do. Warrior is better, though, because Paladin tanks run out of mana. Okay, I could see that. Because the the warrior is trying to build something. They're building rage. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Let's down these mobs first. Still run to the front of a mob to kick them. What am I doing? <laughs> Why do I do this? Alright, so I'm going to shift click it just to unlock it. Ooh, there's level 30 robe in there. Alright, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Warrior, uh, they have the only true taunt, and they have abilities to actively mitigate damage, like shield block. Okay, that would be huge. Alright, it's up to you guys. There's a cloth robe in there. Warrior tanks. Warriors are generally just tanks in PvE. Pally tanks can't hold aggro as well because they're mana issues. That makes sense, Tequila. And they don't exactly have a taunt. See, I didn't I didn't know that actually. They get their utility as the battle goes, and you don't need a taunt. And you don't really need a taunt at a pally tank. Warriors are also heavily gear dependent. Do eat even to do absolutely any damage. Okay, so warrior's not for me. Keep up taunt as a pally when you have really have an auto attack plus consecration. Pally's not really for me either in vanilla. And um, that's okay because I play the horde faction and I can't be a pally. So it's a, a non-issue, right? What's better? Let's let's settle the argument right now. Pally or Shaman? Now I know you're gonna say that's too vague of a question because it depends on what you're doing. No, I'm just saying which one is, is more fun? Which one? Because there are people that play a specific faction for that class. There are people that play Alliance because only Alliance can be Pally. There are people that play Horde because only Horde gets Shaman. Which, which, which is better? Which one wins you over? Tanks don't worry about damage in Classic. All about that threat. I can see that. Slim, what's up? How are you this morning? Uh-oh, looks like Shaman. Oh, look at this. It's, no, it's too early. No yawns. Uh-oh, looks like Shaman's winning. Monk's Den is the only one who said Pally so far. Shaman's for face rally with Wind Fury. <laughs> Pally for aesthetics. <laughs> yes, you have to be very careful in here. It can get very dangerous in here. I'm so biased against Alliance. I have to play Horde every time. I feel you, Jacob. <laughs> I figured that would get some conversation going. <laughs> oh... Okay. 
So did you enjoy Pally even in vanilla, Kelvin? I'm a horde main, so I gotta side with Shaman because of the totems. Otherwise, I've seen Pallies be the best healers in PvE. Hmm. You're leveling a Pally at the moment. He's up to 37. Okay. Isn't Pally and Classic basically just bouncing around seals and auto-attacking? I know it's probably more complex than that, but I'm, I'm just... I've, I played Pally in Kata, which is quite different than Pally in, in, in Classic. Pretty much. You got it exactly right. Okay. I'm I'm not saying that's I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just trying to get an understanding of it since I play horde and don't get to play Pally in classic. I say don't get to, like I can't just literally roll an alliance tune if I wanted to. It's getting a little scary here. Wow, Hobbs is a pally tank and a good one. He's kind of he's good at wow in general. cheap shot and build up some quick combo points. DG has seen my face. Yep, I have Hogswatch. I have seen your face. Backstab him for that bonus damage. I cannot backstab currently. Uh, I'm rocking two swords. No, you're good, Tequila. It's hard to tell just from looking on the screen. You're good. No, I agree. If if I had the ability to backstab, totally. I would be doing it. I've struggled with this, Tequila. Deciding really how I wanted to build out this rogue. But right now, I'm embracing the swords, which is something I don't normally do. I typically roll with daggers. And I typically don't go combat. But so far it's been okay. So far it's it's been working well. And I'm not hating, trust me. I love Pally. I've always been a huge Pally. Shaman Death Knight fan since Warcraft 3. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't take it as hating. Uh, it's just we're just I'm just looking for opinions. You can enjoy something more than something else. You know, nothing wrong with that. I don't have a target. I need to play a horde tune one day, can never decide what race. Monk's den. Undead is fun. Undead is really fun. The areas are all spooky and creepy. It's 
quite fitting to start an undead in the month of October. How you doing? Gabe? Better than ever, man. How about you? Yeah, undead starting zone, man. I just, I love it. I love it so much. So, the next thing I have in mind, tell me what you guys think. I'm thinking next WoW stream, we do either Scarlet Monastery Library or we do Nomer. What do you think? I'm looking for feedback. Library or Nomer? Listen, I'm not scared to try anything. We ran stocks. We ran stocks, so we're we're not scared. I think I died five times. I think I died five times getting the stocks. But we had a good time. We stripped down naked, streaked it in front of the alliance. Nomer would be a long stream. Okay. We'd probably start with Nomer and then see if we had time to do library after. Nomer would be long. More content, yep. Do the grime encrusted items mean anything in Nomer and Classic? Do they have those little washing machines still where you put the thing in it and it cleans it? I hope I'm using the right terminology here. Remember, you can teleport into Nomer from Booty Bay. But there's... Was there a quest chain I had to do? I think Cypher was mentioning that, Justin. Is there like some quest I have to do to be able to do that? Like I vaguely remember something like that existing. Being able to just teleport to it basically. It's a short one? Okay. Okay, so we could just make sure that would it be possible to finish that quest chain on stream and then go new, do Nomer for people who hadn't done it yet? Is that like a feasible and achievable goal? Or is it like, we gotta do this quest chain for two hours with everyone first, then we can do Nomer. I still can't do King's Blood. Yeah, it's three quests. Starts in org, ends in booty bay. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. We could totally do that. So, no, Nomer it is. Next WoW stream, we will run Nomer. I'm excited to get lost in there. Pretty pumped about it. What do you think of my Halloween costume? Is that in the photo you sent me or did you send a different photo? The one you sent. I'm not exactly sure what what is a costume? I thought that was just like a protective thing you were wearing when you were like working on your blacksmithing stuff or something.
Brave Mars. Jump down to the crypt. Lawson, good morning, my friend. Yes, to answer your question, we had an absolute blast last night. Lawson, I don't know if you saw any of it, but we ended up, I got 17 or 18 badges last night. Uh, we also, in Peregrine Island, we downed Eokai and Jack and Irons. We stopped the zombie invasion. We trick-or-treated. We bested Dr. Kane's mansion. We had an absolute blast. Rolling your eyes. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was so much fun. I love seeing the the spike in that the population with the Halloween event starting. It's always good to see. I wish that there were Halloween events currently going on in Classic. Wow, that would be pretty awesome. What level is my rogue up to? 29 and a half. And yes, that half level in Classic is very important. 29 and a half. So slowly but surely, here's the thing. I'm almost halfway to 60. But I'm, I'm very careful with saying that because halfway makes it sound like that the leveling is, you know, I'm, I'm halfway there, right? I've knocked out half of it, but it's only going to get more difficult from here. It's only going to get more difficult and it's going to start taking longer. So it just depends on how you want to look at it, you know? Does WoW do Halloween stuff? Yes. Now, we had this conversation the last WoW stream. I don't know how that works or how they plan on working it in Classic. I don't really remember how it went down in Classic, but as far as I know, it's it's not available yet. It kind of stinks though, because if, if they're gonna do the holiday events, if they don't roll it out till later phases, that means no Christmas event and no Halloween event until next year, right? So that would mean there would be no Halloween stuff, no Christmas stuff till 2020. When they do the events, Lawson, there's some really, really cool stuff, especially for Halloween. 
I know in retail they have a headless horseman that goes to some of the cities and you'll hear you'll hear like some bells or something going off and you'll hear him start talking to ev everyone can hear him and you'll see him come in riding his horse that can fly and he'll start setting everything on fire and players have to join together and go get buckets of water and put out the fires and then he lands and then you have to fight him there's also like some trick-or-treating and stuff. There are costumes and things. But it's it's very cool. Now, I don't know how, how Halloween works in Classic. I don't know if it has the Headless Horseman. I don't know if that was maybe added later. I'm passing on chest. I tried for six years to get the mount he drops, never got it. Justin, it took so long, but I did finally get the, the Headless Horseman mount. And when I got it, you best believe that I used it for months after that. I didn't care that it wasn't near Halloween. I was using it. I'll tell you what I never got in WoW that I farmed and farmed and farmed and farmed and farmed are three different things. Some of you know in WoW what I'm talking about. <laughs> Number one, you're going to laugh. Just go ahead and react to it and let me know if maybe you have it, some of these. The time lost Proto Drake. Mm. Mm, I spent too much time trying to find that thing. I think it was a green Proto Drake. You got it, uh... Craft green proto Drake. Now you... Yeah, yeah, this guy. Oh boy, my team, I'm gonna leave him. For a second, this guy. I never got that, and then... So the time loss proto drake, the green proto drake, and I farmed this one forever. Forever. Reigns of the Raven Lord. I don't remember what dungeon you ran for that, but there was a guy who would drop it. Okay, I say would drop it. Could drop it, but never dropped it for me. And uh, man, I farmed that for so long. So if you guys had any of those, let me know. I bet no one here had the time loss proto drag. That the chance of running on that. You had the red one and the green one? I was so mad I had a friend that... Remember... Sunshine. Boo. Remember when they added the, the loot bags for... What the LFG Q needed? I'm trying to remember how to word it. Like, you got an extra loot bag. If there were no tanks queuing, they added an extra incentive. And you got, like, a loot bag. I had a friend that the day they implemented that, he queued as a tank, got the extra loot bag, and it had a green proto drake in it. Oh, I was so mad. I was so mad. It's a good run. Good run, team. We took care of it. 
Nicely done. Nicely done. No one died once we got in. Power to the Forsaken. For our ancestors. Okay. So I believe that's it for the graveyard. I believe. For real, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm not kidding. And there go the more dump trucks. Now we walk out. Yeah, I know they're mentioning some potential rare spawns, but I don't think. I don't know if we're gonna run across any. This might get us in trouble. I'm hoping that Miss PG can level up her mage enough and she can run no more with us. I've actually not got to play with her very often because of the level difference between us. I got to like 15 or 18 roughly when she started her level 1. And you guys know that in Classic that can be quite the difference. So... I think she's level 22 or 23, so she's catching up. The biggest downfall of pally tanks is that they have no way to range pull. It could make things uh, a bit more difficult. I felt like either way I wanted to get a quick dungeon run in this morning if possible and it happened it happened you guys pulled through and everyone on in the guild is in Scarlet Monastery yeah I look back Justin at those memories and I enjoyed it a lot of people are like, oh, you wasted all that time trying to farm those mounts. I had fun. My, my wife and I would come home. We would crank up some music, open up the windows. I remember in like the early fall and stuff when it was just kind of cool outside. And just farm stuff. Man, I had such good memories. Get a little hairy. Go get him, PG. Miss PG, I was just talking about you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and ask her now. If you get up to the level cap, how do you feel about running Nomer in the next WoW stream? Huh? Huh? It'll, it'll only take a couple hours, Miss PG. Just a, <clears throat> a couple hours. Yeah, I understand, Justin. I, <laughs> it's true. 
Because it's kind of this thing, Justin, that once you get it... Once you get it, it's like the that rush and that chase is over, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? You try for years and years and years to get it, then you get it, and you're like, I got it, yeah! And then you're like, but now I have it. Like, in all that time that I was farming it, now I, I have it. Like, you know what I mean? I remember watching MNF while farming Scenario War Hippogriff in the Steam Vaults. It, that's probably a good memory. Right, Keldon? Miss PG's here now. She can confirm that we would just crank up some music and uh, farm rare mounts or farm herbs to make money. Like, such good memories. Horde Reborn. Yeah, Teresa. We went kind of like how we had the Heroes Reborn in City of Heroes, but it's Horde Reborn because, you know, classic relaunched. Figured the name was fitting. Both of them, the abbreviation's the same, you know. Yeah, Miss BG says every day. All day, every day. That's what we used to do. Then this thing happened where we decided we were going to be adults and buy a house and start working every day. And then it was kind of like, ugh, you know? Now we don't get to play as much. Growing up's not, it's not as fun as it sounds. First hood I went to was adulthood. I've never heard that joke. That's awesome. Yeah, right. We still played every night. Okay, fair. There were a lot of nights, yes, we did play. Spending my lunch break with y'all, wishing I was home playing. I wish you were home playing with us too, Kim. We got that dungeon group together though. Everybody that's on in the guild is in Scarlet Monastery. And it was a success. We were able to finish it. Might as well fight our way out. The XP, you know. We would come home, watch Toby and BF versus GF, and then turn music on and play till we went to bed, which was normally too late. Yep. Yep. Some of you have no idea what BF versus GF is, but that was good times. Really good times. Have they said when character transfers are coming? Not that I'm aware of, no. I do not know of an exact date for that, nope. We made it! They already did one wave, received a lot of pressure on Pagel. Pressure, like people transferred to Pagel? A 
As soon as they allow it, I'll bring my shaman over to Pagel. Okay, Justin. Hey, we'd love to have you, man. Love to have you. Oh, transferred off Pagel. Gotcha. Pagel stays in the high range during peak hours. It will occasionally say full, but I've not had to wait in queue very often. Not anymore. It's not been too bad, but it does still stay in the, the high range, high pop range, which is good. Yeah, I know, Cypher. That's true. I, when you said that, I was like, two bagel, huh? I got you. Yeah, Teresa, we had some little things and stuff over there happen. Um, but all that should be taken care of, Teresa. So, you, sh you should feel welcome. All the alliance waiting in there. Chris, good afternoon all. I'm working, but thought I'd check in. How is AM? It's been good, Chris. It took us a little bit to get a group together, but then people showed up in the guild and pulled through for us. So much fun last night, by the way. Thank you again, PG. That's my goal, Chris. I'm glad you had fun. If you had fun, I'm happy. I accomplished what I was trying to do last night. My hearth is up, so I could just hearth. All we're going to do is this one dungeon run today, guys. That's it. So it'll be about a, an hour and 45 minute stream. Very short compared to normal. I just had, I had an itch I had to scratch, you know? Did you choose Pago because it has letters P and G in it? I wish I was that cool, Kim. And I wish that I thought, I thought like that. I should have just rolled with it and been like, yeah, Kim, that, that's definitely why. But it, it's not. It, we just randomly picked one. <laughs> I wish that were the case. It, that, the story would sound much cooler if I said that, right? I had so much fun and got 32 while trick-or-treating. Haven't tested the bot upgrade yet, but stoked to try it. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, I'm ready to do some more trick-or-treating. I had a lot of fun with that. I'm I'm going to get all of the costumes so I can get the badge. Got to. My goal is to get every Halloween badge. No questions asked. No excuses. Welcome, David Peppers. Thank you for the sub, my friend. You can use that story we won't tell. Okay, but only if everyone promises to not tell. Everyone has to be on the same page. Nobody can sell me out. Yeah, there are a lot of people, Keldon, that sent me DMs after the stream last night that said they were reinstalling City of Heroes. That they had gotten burned out and they had stopped playing after last night's stream. Because of all the fun we had, they're reinstalling. Alright, see you later, Chris. Tonight is the Altaholics Anonymous meeting. Whoa, what? Do not forget. Taking live call-ins, talking City of Heroes. Tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We did it. We did it. A large quantity of influence will keep me silent. <laughs> how, how much we talking, Chegar? I got 500 influence. If you... Hmm? 500? <laughs> oh, man. It 
At least a thousand. It's got to be a thousand. Okay. <laughs> I can maybe, maybe swing a thousand influence, Chagar. Welcome back, Teresa. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we'll do a group photo. We'll do a group photo in front of the meeting stone. Let's do it right here. There we go. I don't remember a lot of that stuff from life. Me either, Keldon. Me either. All right, poses, everyone. I love it. Look at this group. Look at this group. Do that one more time, Cypher. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. There we go. I'll see you in a bit. Love you too, Miss PG. All right, so super short stream today, but I appreciate you guys joining me this AM for a Scarlet Monastery Graveyard Run. Again, Altaholics Anonymous meeting tonight. And I, I hope that people show up loud and proud for it because uh, I felt like they were kind of dying down there for a little bit, which is why I stopped doing it for a bit. Uh, but people seem pretty pumped and excited about it. So I wanted to bring it back. Uh, so hopefully we'll have a good turnout. Hopefully a lot of you guys uh, will call in and we can just have some fun. Okay. Let me thank everyone again. Thank everyone again, and then I'm actually, I'm gonna call it for now. Uh, I'm going to get to work on some videos for this channel, for you guys. That's exactly what I'm gonna be working on. Well, we're 29 and a half. Next time we play WoW, most likely we'll run Nomer. At the very least, it'll be Scarlet Monastery Library. But we're going to work on running Nomer. But I'm going to log out. Thank you guys for the love and the support this morning. I hope you guys, anybody who wasn't in the stream last night, likes my, my little pal over here, Elvira. She's a good, she's a good cat. But I'm going to play an outro screen. And I still leave some encouraging words to each other. But keep in mind, I'll see you tonight for the Altaholics Anonymous meeting. So that's going to be it for me. I got some serious work to get done on this channel for you guys. Always trying to make it bigger and better. Love you guys. I will see you tonight.